This had better be good. Don't worry, I won't take up too much of your precious time. Please, take a seat. I want to make a deal. Go on. Seeing as you were so kind to donate £10,000 towards my legal fees, I thought you might be feeling generous again. Believe me, it's not generosity I'm feeling right now. So if you have a point, I suggest you get to it. I will keep your vile murder plot out of the custody battle. For 20 grand. What are you talking about? If Jamie loses Millie because of the things that you've done... He'll never forgive you. He'll also end up with nothing, and he deserves better than that. How noble of you. And the 20 grand? Call it a bonus. <laughs> the police have already investigated, and they don't believe a single word of it. There's a big difference between not believing it and there being no evidence. You can't prove anything. True. But my statement would open an investigation. And at the end of the day, the mere suspicion of murder would throw Jamie's custody battle into serious trouble. Hmm. Well, aren't you brave? Or maybe I didn't make myself clear enough the other day. What, when you threatened to have me killed? <laughs> I'm almost impressed. You've taken a well-earned break from the moral high ground to try your hand at extortion. Turns out you're no better than me. Oh, I am. I have never paid to have the love of my life murdered in cold blood. Graham's blood isn't on my hands. Yeah, only because someone beat Al to it. I saw you break down when you said that you were going to get Graham bumped off. It was almost like you had a heart. It was all an act. I have a question. Do you think I was born yesterday? Do you honestly think this was going to work? Oh, don't get me wrong. This is about as interesting as you've ever been. But if you seriously think you're going to get another penny out of me, you're more deluded than I thought. Did you give Al instructions on how you wanted Graham killed? Or did you just tell him to freestyle? OK. Time's up. You're boring me now. You know, you won't go to the police. You won't breathe a word of this to anyone. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Because you're making the same mistake Graham made. He underestimated me. And see how I dealt with that. Are you threatening to kill me again? Because if you are, you need to change the record. You're getting a bit stale. To answer your earlier question... No. Ordering Graham's death probably wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done. But now it's your turn. I'll enjoy every last second of it. Did you get it? You won't be disappointed. I should hope not. I'm paying you enough. So, uh, did she suspect anything? Utterly clueless. I laid on some sob story about losing my daughter. She ate up every word. So, uh, how far did she go? Far enough. Managed to get her top down. She got frigid on me after that. With careful editing, we'll have what you need. Hmm. You've done well. I'm impressed. Worth every penny. Andrea's in for a shock. Oh, she thinks she's so clever. She thinks you're going to prison. How marvellous. Well, I'll allow her tonight to think she's got one over on me. To plan all the things she can do once I'm back behind bars. Then what do you have planned for her? Oh, this is just the beginning. By the time I've finished with Andrea, her entire life will be in tatters. She can kiss her custody case and her daughter. Goodbye. <laughs>